everyone. I'm Brittany Thelman, Miss Minnesota USA 2011, and I'm here interviewing with thepageantguy.com. Well, I had no idea. The girl who got first runner-up, Christina Furtick, had competed for, I think, six years, and I thought she had this in the bag. She's incredibly beautiful, intelligent. She happens to be a Vikings cheerleader, and we have a lot of friends in common. So I remember looking at her and saying, you've got this. You've so got this because she'd done it so many years, and I'd never done this before. I didn't know what to expect. And when they said her name as first runner-up, it took a long second for me to realize that that meant I was the winner, and I was just shocked. I fell to the floor and hands over my mouth like this, and just, oh, I... I was in such shock, I couldn't believe it. The whole night, even, when I got into the car after our big contract meeting with my mom, she looked at me and we both kind of just screamed and laughed for a whole, like, three minutes because we couldn't even believe it. Yes, I am a self-proclaimed computer geek, and I think my brother would proclaim me a computer geek, too. I have always been fascinated with gadgets and anything I could take apart sometimes and put back together. I know my dad says I have a curse with computers at times. I somehow download a bunch of things that I think are going to help it work better and then it crashes. So I've had my ups and downs with technology, but I always have to have the latest and the greatest and I have my awesome MacBook Pro and my aunt actually works for Apple so that helps my addiction. But yeah, I'm a huge computer nut. I also know how to code HTML and CSS and all that fun stuff with websites. So that's a big nerdy passion of mine. Yes, I am. I am a huge Glee. I am a big fan of the show Glee. I actually auditioned to be on the show, saying my little heart out. And I had proposed a character that was somewhere between Quinn Fabray, who can dance really well and moves great, and Rachel, who's a great singer and not always the best dancer, as the girl that could sing and dance and do both. And that would really bring Quinn and Rachel's characters together in the show. And they would go after this transfer student who I named Scarlet because of my brown hair and because of my infatuation with the movie Gone with the Wind. So that would be my big Gleek moment is when I auditioned for Gleek. Well, I wouldn't say Lindsay Lohan stole the spotlight from me, but when I was younger, actually in the fifth grade, or maybe it was the sixth grade, let me think. Yeah, sixth grade, I was preparing for the lead role in Disney's remake of The Parent Trap, which everybody knows Lindsay Lohan ended up starring in. But we got down to the final run, and it was me and three other girls, including Lindsay, that were up for the title role, and she got it. But I have to say, there was one part in the movie where um, one of the girls does a trick on the other during that big camp scene, and she looks at the camera and goes, oh, thank you, thank you very much, like Elvis. And that's not in the script. That's something I added in my audition, and my big thing when I was growing up was to impersonate Elvis for some reason and sing happy birthday like Elvis for all of my elementary school friends. So I added that in there as a joke, and the director must have liked it so much, he asked Lindsay to do it in the movie. All right. Well, I might not have a good Katy Perry impression, but people say I look like her, especially when I kind of put my bangs down and maybe poof up my hair a little, wear some nice wedges, and flirt with the boys. But no, I was Katy Perry for Halloween, and people say I kind of look like her, and she's definitely one of my favorite to karaoke to. Oh, top three Disney movies ever? Well, I have to say my all-time favorite is Beauty and the Beast, because I've always loved Belle, and that's the one Disney princess that I really identify with. And... Number two would probably be, oh, I'm, it's a toss-up right now. I guess what's coming to mind is Aladdin because I love that movie. And I love Jasmine and I love little Abu the monkey. And my third is the brand new Tangled. If you guys haven't seen it, it's incredible. It's so good. Mandy Moore is awesome as Rapunzel. And the songs are just great. I just love that movie. So go see Tangled. Well, I've had so much fun interviewing with the pageant guy. 
dot com. But I wanted to send out a big thank you to all of my friends and family, and of course my directors, Craig and Denise and Libby over at Future Productions for all of their help. Obviously, Holly Ernst, my big coach that helped me win Miss Minnesota USA, to Sarah Moses and the pageant shop for always helping me pick out the best wardrobe, and to my dear friend Molly, who was my roommate at Miss Minnesota, and my friend Alyssa, who was also my friend from Miss Minnesota, who I know will be rooting me on at Miss USA. So make sure you guys check out my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter, and I'll send you lots of sweet tidbits.